Hello everyone, this is Lance from Cinematic Galaxy, and this is my second review of the Harry Potter series for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Now before I start this review, I want to give you guys a little background check of what I talked about in my first review um, re regarding how I got into the series. Now, see, I have become a huge fan of the first film by watching that repeated times over the summer, and I began to wonder, are they ever going to make a sequel to this film? You know, I used to rely on my information by watching TV. I, I didn't go on the internet. I find that pretty hilarious now. But anyway, um, yeah, I used to wonder if they were going to make a sequel to this film. And there was one day where right after, literally right after I watched the first film on VHS, I just turned on the TV and like on Nickelodeon or something, a, a preview, a commercial for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets came, came on. My reaction... I started jumping around the room, literally jumping around the room, humming the Harry Potter theme song. Dun, 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 dun. But anyway, I was just extremely excited for this movie. Now I was so happy to see that they're making a second one, and it just looked so exciting. Like there was so much new stuff in it that I just begged my mom to take me up to chapter eleven so I could buy the book. I actually bought the second book and the third book. Well, I actually got the second one on paperback at the time. But Amber Secrets, that was the first time I've ever been so excited for a film. I never, I never thought I had to see a movie in theaters until then. And my dad took me and my cousin to see it uh, the day after it opened, November 6, 2002. And I literally thought it was the best movie I'd ever seen. I mean, it was like seeing Star Wars on the big screen for me. I know some of you are laughing when I say that, but I really mean it. You know, it was I never seen anything like that. That that just affected me so much. Like th this movie, I had seen Spider-Man theaters the year before and, and other films, but Harry Potter was just like the Chamber of Secrets was like nothing I'd ever seen. It was funny. It had a lot of action. Um, you know, little mystery drama here and there I mean it was it was so great and such a great experience seeing that on the big screen this movie is about Harry's second year at Hogwarts and what I really love about this movie is that it's um, it's it's really like a murder mystery in a sense I mean you just learn so much is unraveled in this film so many things that we had no idea about in the first film or that were only like slightly hinted at in the first film and you just really find out about them in this in this movie and the great thing about them they connect to the last film in the series they they really really are important details in this film and that's one of the many things i love about it a lot of people might think that the murder mystery or the the whole happenings at Hogwarts are very silly. I mean, Harry and Ron uh, crash into a whomping willow. They, you know, Harry's arm gets hit by a rogue bludger while he's playing Quidditch. I mean, a lot of silly, crazy stuff happens in this film, but I absolutely love it. I mean, I love all that stuff about it. The acting here is, once again, great. Um, the young leads, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, They've all gotten better, obviously. They're they're improving. And what's funny in this movie, I mean, you really see how they've changed from the first movie. Puberty must have really started kicking in for them after, after uh, the first film came out. Because, I mean, their voices have all gotten deeper. They're obviously a little taller, a little bigger, you know. They, they look and sound, like, different. I mean, it was very noticeable seeing the first film and then seeing how they changed it in this one. I was just amazed. I didn't really know what puberty was at the time. I was nine years old. But yeah, their physical, mental maturity, all of that helps them play these characters even better than they did the first time. And the adult cast is, once again, just phenomenal. Alan Rickman, Robbie Coltrane, Maggie Smith, the late Richard Harris, um, they're all just great in this film. And we're also introduced to Kenneth Bernard as... 
Gilderoy Lockhart, who is hilarious, but I really, really cannot stand his character. He really just annoys the crap out of me, but he's great in this movie. He gives a memorable performance, without a doubt. My favorite scene in this film just has to be everything that happens in the Chamber of Secrets. Everything that happens from the moment Gilderoy Lockhart, Ron Weasley, and Harry Potter go into the Chamber of Secrets all the way to the end when they get out. That is just, to me, that's one of the best scenes in the entire franchise. Classic Harry Potter right there. I mean, it's just amazing. Everything. Uh, the fight with the Basilisk, finding out who Tom Riddle is, that really all just ties in so well with later events. And when I saw that on the big screen for the first time, my eyes were just... I was just so... I'd never seen anything like that before. I mean, it really just opened my eyes to, to what movies could be. And I, I just dug it so much. Now, this movie does have flaws, you know. If you were to ask me back in the day, I'd have said it was a perfect movie. I mean, this was my favorite movie. It was my... Literally my favorite movie of all time. But there are flaws with this movie. And really the main flaws are the same ones that the first film had. And the fact that, you know, sometimes the emotion, sometimes it's just a little flat, a little dead. Because, I mean, these the one thing about the first two films, they're so close to the books. And that's not a problem. I love that. But sometimes they, they focus so much on getting on getting that one line just right. You know, doing it the exact same way it was in the book and even acting it out, like, doing it the same way it was in the book, that they don't really put the full emotion into that scene. Sometimes they just feel a little flat. It just feels like they're kind of reading the line from the book and just saying it on screen while kind of standing there or something. I mean, that's a minor flaw. It's not prevalent throughout the whole film. And it's okay. It doesn't really ruin it because the first two uh, books are kind of... They're kind of the more simple out of all the rest of them anyway. I mean, so it doesn't really hurt it that much. All in all, though, I'd probably say Chamber of Secrets is an improvement over the first film. But I actually think I love it just as much as the first film. I wouldn't really say that I love it any more. And I wouldn't say I love it any less. I mean, they're about tied. They're, they're actually... I, I really love these movies. They're, they're tied for... Yeah, about fourth place in my ranking. And I must say one thing. A lot of people hate the ending of this movie. Um, the ending of the film where Hagrid comes back. You know, everyone's unpetrified. And then Hagrid comes back from Azkaban. And, and you know, Harry, he goes over to Harry, Ron, and Hermione and thanks them. Harry says, there's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. And they hug. And then everyone starts to clap. A lot of people are like, oh, I hate that ending. It's so cheesy. And it's so stupid and, and ugh. Sentimentality is disgusting. Maybe I'm just a sucker for for sentimental stuff. I don't know, but I love that ending. I mean, it's really, truly one of the happiest moments in the entire series. And, and as we're going into Prisoner of Azkaban immediately after this film, it's one of the last really happy moments in this series. So it, it, it's just great. I mean, I love that scene. And Hagrid's one of my favorite characters. He deserves that kind of welcome. So, I loved it. Overall, I give Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets three out of four planets, the same rating I gave the first film. It's a very good film, and considering what it is, I mean, it is a nearly perfect movie, but just for, for those little flaws that it has, um, it kind of knocks it down a bit. Like, I can't say it's a perfect film, but it does a really great job of doing what it's trying to do. Um, great adaptation. And great way to make lightning strike twice. That was a little pun on the scar there. Yeah, I know. It wasn't very funny. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this review. And please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Let me know how you feel about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Anyway, I hope to have my review of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban up soon. Take care, guys. This is Lance from Cinematic Galaxy, signing off.